to move an object in Rhino, just type in move. Make sure that in the object snaps you have end selected at the very least. I recommend ha always having end, mirror, point, midpoint, intersection, and quadrant selected by default. It has always worked for me. It allows me to be a lot more organized with everything that I need to snap to. So to move, you just have to dictate one point for the start point and one point for the end point. And here I'm pressing down shift and hovering in that 90 degree direction. And then I click for the end point. Now how do you move up? Well you need to make sure that the C plane is vertical because Rhino cannot understand what up means. See I'm moving my cursor up right now and Rhino understands that we're snapping everything always to the grid plane. So we need to set our grid plane to be up and down. How do we do that? We're going to type in C plane world which is also right here so W and then we can do right, left, front they all work pretty well. I'm going to do front so F so here now our grid plane is in the front orientation. Now I'm going to select this and I have my short key for move so I'm just going to do that real fast. And here we go. I'm going to move up. I have shift pressed down once again. But if I didn't press shift, everywhere I go I'm going to snap to the grid plane again where I at least be oriented parallel to the grid plane. So similarly, this is as if I typed in C plane, W for world left. And then to go back, it's C plane, W for world, bottom, which is O. Personally, I have all this set as short keys, which if you're on a Mac, it's rhinoceros preferences and then aliases. And here I have my short keys for, for the C plane views. This is how I am using syntax. It's single quote underscore C plane and then space and then your short key or the whole word. So right now I have R E E as C plane world front, um, R W as C plane world bottom, R E W as C plane world right, and then R E R as C plane world view. Sorry, C plane view. So here, let me demonstrate. Let me just turn off grid snap so that I don't have to snap anywhere. So I want to move things up. I can just do the move command. So I have a short key which is AF. And in the middle of the, the move command, I can type in that I want my grid to be up and down. I can change my mind at that instant and then I'm going to snap up. Now I just did REW, which is C plane world right. And now I can move like that. Notice that I have my object selected and now I have the move command. And during this move command, once again, I can set my uh, C plane wherever I want during the middle of the command and it's okay. Rhino will understand. So this is pretty much how I roll. Um, I have AF as my short key for move and I can move around really fast and then when I want to move up I have my short keys. Now one thing I didn't go over is RER which is C plane let me type that in C plane view. Now C plane view is about orienting yourself to whatever view it is. It becomes really useful when you are dealing with a lot of complex curves and you're moving items to very um, intricate positions and you need to rotate certain ways. But once again, if you want to activate fine details, the other um, commands that I recommend regarding cplane is cplane object where you can select your object and your cplane will orient to the plane in which you selected your object. Also what's useful is uh, cplane 3 point. I tend to use that for certain off-angle things. 
So if you press, uh, what is it? Control. If you press Control, sorry, Command and Shift, Command and Shift will allow you to skew. So in the same way that, same way that you would skew different directions, C plane view is a similar offshoot of that where you can specify three points and you can skew your grid to be also off kilter like RER but in a more controlled manner. So here you go. Once again when I'm moving I tend to have my short keys. Wherever I move I make sure that my grid is oriented towards whichever direction I need to move it in. So once again, when I need to move this way, this way, this way, this way, that way, it's RW. But once I need to move up and down, I can either use REW or REE. Or so REE is seaplane world front. I don't actually remember what is front and what is right, I just toggle because once I'm here versus once I'm here, it's such a little difference. It's hard for me to really calculate in my head. I don't want to hurt myself by calculating this. So what I'll do is, it's so fast to move around anyway that if I get this plane wrong, I can go back. So that's how you move around in Rhino.